Hello my friend, if you know Azure and you don't know Azure DevOps, then think again, think again, you don't know Azure. Azure DevOps is an integral part of Azure, so knowing the answers is very important. Today, I'm going to share the top 5 Azure DevOps interview questions. And by the end of this video, even if you are new to Azure, still you will master all of them. Because like this, I will use the step-by-step -step diagrams and very simple definition which is easy to remember, okay? And then you can easily explain these concepts in your interviews also. So without wasting time, let's start with the first question. What is DevOps and what is Azure DevOps? What is the difference between them? So my answer will clear all your doubts. Okay. First of all, what is DevOps in general? Not in Azure, in general. Here is the diagram. In DevOps, Dev stands for development, where developer will first what developers do when they create uh, started creating an app, application. First, they plan. Okay. Then they code. Then they build the code so that uh, code will successfully compile. And then they test uh, unit test to uh, whatever testing. Finally, they release the application. Okay. Then the operations start, which is OPS. Okay. Where the application which is released is partially the part of ops and it's also part of the dev. Okay. So next the deployment will be in the UAT environment or the production environment. Maybe the IT team will do or infra team will do or the development team can also do it. Okay. So now the next is uh, now the next step is operate. Operate means when the uh, your application is in production. So you are operating it. Basically you are uh, if any bugs are coming, anything is happening, so you are operating it. Then the last step is monitor. So basically you are sitting and you are watching your application, how the users are using your application and you are analyzing basically. Okay. So basically this is the whole step of DevOps. Now what is Azure DevOps? Azure DevOps is a platform or you can say it's a portal where you can manage the entire DevOps lifecycle from development to code to deployment to production smoothly and efficiently everything. Okay. For example, if you will use Azure DevOps po portal, which will look something like this. Okay. Then you and your team member and your manager can assign and create work items here check the work status check the deployment status of application and everything at one single place and that is where azure devops platform okay here is the final defini definition devops equal to development plus operation it's a concept azure develop is a tool which is used to implement uh, the devops process okay so Azure DevOps is a cloud-based DevOps platform from Microsoft that provides end-to-end -to -end tools for software development, CI, CD, testing, project management, everything. It enables teams to plan, develop, build, test, and deploy application efficiently. Okay. Definition and the theory present in the book so that later you can easily revise. But yes, in the upcoming question, I will also explain what are the elements present in the Azure DevOps platform and how we can use them so that if anyone will ask you, you can easily answer it. Okay. And yes, many candidates have accepted my never give up challenge and got the job and cracked the interviews. You can be the next one. So type never give up in comments to accept the challenge and share your story later when you make it. What is CI CD pipeline? Have you used it in your project? By the end, you will be super confident on CI CD pipeline. Now, if you have some experience as a developer, then you already have some idea about these steps involved in creating an application first plan then code 
build, test, release, deploy and finally operate or you can say monitor the production application. Okay, so that is the normal application life cycle. Now what is CI? CI means continuous integration. It simply means this. So let's say you are a developer and you write some code for a new feature. Then you push your code to a shared place like Git. At the same time, your teammates are also writing and pushing their code also, right? So here is this CI process. As soon as you push the code, an automatic process start. First, it uh, if it checks if your code builds properly or not, no compile time error should be there. If the build is successful, then it runs the unit test cases automatically. Okay, so build is automatically, test is automatically. If all tests pass, then their, your code is automatically accepted and added to the main branch of the project. In short, it is called continuous integration because multiple developer code, developer's code is continuously integrated with the main code. Okay, again and again and again smoothly without any problem. That is continuous integration. And yes, if there is any build error or any test error, then you have to fix it first, then only your code will be integrated to the main branch. Okay, so that is CI, continuous integration. After that comes CD. It's uh, not CD, it, it, it's CD, not that VCD, it's continuous deployment. It means code from the main Git branch will be automatically released and deployed to different environments like QA, staging and pre-production, something like this. Okay, so these are the steps inside the CD, continuous deployment. Whatever code is going to the main branch will be automatically deployed to the dev environment, QA environment and production after the necessary approvals. Okay. So that is continuous deployment. You do not have to do anything it, it will be automated. So in short, CI CD pipeline helps automate your project full out workflow from coding to deployment, making everything automated and faster and smoother. Clear? So if it is clear to you, write clear, crystal clear in the comments or chat section so that you never forget this concept. Finally, here is the simplest definition. A CI CD pipeline is an automated process used by developers and DevOps teams to build test and deploy code quickly and reliably okay so build test is the part of the developer deployment is the part of the devops or infra team okay this definition in the book will help you in revising this concept and from this diagram very quickly what are the main components of azure devops now, when you open your Azure Dev DevOps portal, then here are the main menu. Okay, so this is the main menu or we call here inside we have the main components. So basically, these are the components which will help you in developing your application from scratch to the deployment in production. Okay, so we have the Azure uh, boards, then we have Azure repos, this one, then we have Azure pipelines, Azure test plans and Azure artifacts. So these are the main component of the Azure DevOps, which I will further uh, in further questions, I will explain them in detail. Okay, for now, that's it. Quick update before the next question. I cracked Azure interview after facing many rejections. From that experience, I created this complete Azure interview course. This course include five things. Number five, 200 interview questions, all topics, step by step, even if you are an Azure beginner. Fourth, real scenario based questions, just like in real interviews. Third, you can check your interview preparation status by marking questions prepared or not prepared.
second is this pdf book for quick revision and first is as your top 10 mock interviews many student cracked interviews using my courses you can be the next quotes and book links are given in the description if you are interested great if not no worries let's continue with the next question what are azure pipelines how do they help with automation in projects so i have already explained ci cd pipelines in journal in previous questions this is going to be very simple for you then inside the azure devops platform you will have find this pipelines option also and inside that you will find all these options okay so for example pipelines will show you the status of all your running pipelines for example what there will be a pipeline for the dev environment where the application is hosted similarly for uat qa prod whatever environments your company is running all are present inside the pipelines and there are many other options here you can see that what are the releases what are the libraries but the most important is the pipelines and the environments what different environments you have uh, this is the for continuous deployment pipeline option in the azure devops is the most important one and here is the theory about it azure pipelines are used for ci cd it helps you to ad automate the build test and deployment process you can use it to continuously integrate code and deploy application to various environments like dev qa and production that's it what does a basic azure devops pipeline consists of pause and think so azure pipeline two things we have cid for build staging means continuously you are integrating the code from all the developer to the main branch and then you are continuously sorry <laughs> releasing the uh, code from the main branch to the deployment so that is continuous deployment so ci cd is what ci plus cd equal to what our azure uh, devops pipeline is okay great job my friend now if this video helped you then there are many more important questions on devops further like this infrastructure as code which uh, are asked in the azure interviews and like this i have explained the same with diagrams and visuals all i have explained in my complete course with simple definitions also many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews so if you are also serious about cracking your next as your interview and do not want to miss a single question then check out this course link and the pdf book link in the description below